tell you, Sundays are the best, aren't they? You said it, Chief. Hey, Chris, what's the name of the girl on the end of the couch? I'm sure I've met her before. I'll introduce myself to her. That'll get her to say it. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Well, that didn't work. This Sunday at the Quahog Convention Center, it's Streaming Con! All your favorite YouTubers, Instagrammers, social media mavens, and digital influencers under one roof! Social media? Better swap my glasses for a monocle that will pop out when I'm confronted with modern talk. LOL at thousands of the hottest Vimeos, memes, epic fails. Heavens. Meet disgraced YouTube star Logan Paul and his cool bus. The golden-throated homeless guy and his cool bus he poops in. Newly sober cat, formerly grumpy cat. And teen influencers Tyler Oakley. Oh? Lele Pons. What? Glozell. Where? Joey Graceffa. When? Sunday, I already said that. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. With special guest star, everyone's favorite internet how-to whiz, Corey from Corey's World. What's going on, guys? I'm Corey from Corey's World. And I'm going to be live and in person at the Quahog Streaming Con, where you'll see I'm only five foot two. And remember, that Nazi stuff I said was in the heat of a very competitive Halo game. And congratulations to Goldblatt69, whose people People definitely do not control the media and all banking. Dad, can we go to Streaming Con? Well, I wasn't watching all that closely. Is it like a rodeo? Um, sure. We're going to Streaming Con! Giddy up! Looks like someone's going to Streaming Con. Rope a doggy for me. Oh, awesome. Look over there. You can take a selfie in a hospital bed to get social media attention. Don't really want to get into it, but I'm fine. Oh, boy. Well, this is the last thing I wanted. I'm going to do an Instagram story here where I insult a loner and it becomes a whole thing. What's up, everybody? I'm here at Streaming Con 2019. Weird ponytail. They got a whole booth of cat gifts here. Gif? How do you say... Uh-oh. Hey, man, I didn't say anything to that guy. This is ridiculous. You're hurting my wrist. So check this out, guys. I got kicked out of Streaming Con 2019. Now, I don't know if anyone watching this is a lawyer, especially a constitutional lawyer, but... Hey. Hey, guys. So I'm in my own trunk. Uh, I think I'm going to get murdered. Uh, but before I do, I forgot I'm supposed to mention Triscuits. Really, all the Nabisco products, they're, they're solid. You know, like on the back of Triscuits, when they give you the recipes for those snacks, like the, the mini pizzas? I swear to God, make those little pizzas. Hashtag it, Pete's Triscuit Life Hacks. Go ahead and check it out. Recipe and bio. Whoa! <laughs> I got away! Hey, guys, I'm in an Uber heading back to Streaming Con. Uh, man bun alert. Now seating for Corey, the live experience. All religions welcome. That's us. Come on, everyone. Hey, where's Brian? Hey, you know how Snapchat puts a fake dog tongue on you? How'd you like a real one? <gasps> that was bad. Yeah, times have changed. Three years ago, I would have been a hero. Three years ago, they would have been 12. I need a nap. Brian, turn on the heat and NPR. We now return to NPR's Fresh Air. My guest today is a white music writer who has written a book about the history of hip-hop. Stewie's loss. I'm sure this will be an enriching discussion. Hip-hop has its roots in the call-and-response tradition of the Southern Black Baptist Church. <laughs> Nap was just what the doctor ordered. I feel like a new... And of course, you can't write a history of rap without mentioning Gil Scott Heron. 